What's going on, my Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's going on? What's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members only community, I love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. If you clicked on this video, like, subscribe, join, hit that super thanks button, let those ads play for 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your H2O, whatever it takes, Scorpio. For you to tap into these energies with me like we always do around about this time. Let's tap the fucking in, Scorpio. Let's see what's popping. Hope all is well with you guys. I am feeling absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, split the date with soulmate here. Somebody's <laughs> manifesting their soulmate. You ready? You ready, Scorpio, for your soulmate? I'm just asking. Just asking. Let's see. Alright, what's the energy on the bottom of the deck? I'm going to shuffle again, y'all. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all what was on the bottom of the deck. Same sex relationship. Y'all got this in the last ring. So I'm going to shuffle again. But if it comes out, that's what it is. Somebody evidently didn't get that message. Spirit guides, angels. You know what? Let me say, Scorpio. Cause this might not. <laughs> this might not be the deck. Let's see. Let's, let's. All right. Let's see. Let's 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 do a duo with Scorpio. Spirit guides, angels. What are the messages? I just saw come through, boo. What are the messages here for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. The messages. Play back your love is like a song track. Play back your love is like a sound track. So maybe somebody is thinking about you over and over and over and over again, Scorpio, with that playback. Somebody is playback, playing back an experience they had with you. Something that they've never been able to forget about. It's almost like I wrote a song about it. Want to hear? Here you go. Like this person could write a book about you. I guess that's what they're saying, Scorpio. Let's see. Somebody want to do over. Somebody want to reconcile Scorpio here. I feel like this person is okay until they see you. When they see you, they get all emotional and Google eyed and shit. It's like. And that's your energy. And rolling your eyes like, oh my God. Here go the drama. Let's see. What else here for Scorpio? Feel like at some point in time you could have possibly been very into this person. It says, I'm not a difficult woman, I'm a strong woman who knows my value. Yeah, so maybe you and this person, y'all just couldn't see eye to eye about a lot of things. Um, Scorpio, I'm kind of getting the energy too that. <clears throat> This was like a financial situation with y'all because I feel like now this person is financially stable and they want to play back. 
Because I feel like this feels to me like money or stability had a lot to do with you guys' separation. This person not being able to hold a job down or, you know, whatever the fuck. And I feel like you felt like this person maybe was gold digging. I feel like energetically saying, like, to this person, this person saying, like, I ain't asked you for that shit. You gave it to me. You offered me that shit. And you mad at me because I took it when I needed it. Like, it's that type of energy. It's, you know, Scorpio, it's not that they was, were a gold digger. It's like you had so much and you gave into this person. You know, you helped them out. So it wasn't really gold digging, but I feel like, you know... I feel like that's something this person want to redeem. It has to do with stability here. They, they've they gotten their shit together. That's just what I'm getting. All right. It says we are, are the perfect couple. We're just not in the perfect situation. Yeah. So I, I feel like that's just how this person views y'all's connection, Scorpio. Like, you know, y'all y'all were, as far as y'all love was concerned, like y'all didn't have any issues there. It was the fact about money. Like y'all argued a lot about money until it eventually split y'all up, it seems like. Let's see. All right. Yeah. And it says, I don't care. So I feel like, you know, one of you guys took on this attitude. I feel like it's probably you, Scorpio, because I feel like it's one thing to like, you know, <laughs> Know that somebody is for you, okay? And to know that they're going to be there through the long haul. But it's like, this person, either this person, I feel like this person ghosted you because of their stability. Like, they, you know, they they knew they couldn't hold their own. I feel like that. And I feel like now that they're trying, you know, that they got their shit together and they're coming back, Scorpio, you got that energy of like, bitch... I don't want your ass no more, like, for real, because I feel like you you really was into this person. Like, imagine spending every single day with somebody you actually like, and then abruptly, like, this person ghosts you. You don't even see this bitch no more, till they resurface again, talking about, now they got a bag. <laughs> The overall energy, when I first met you, I honestly didn't know you were going to be this important to me. Yeah. It's too late, though. That's just what I'm getting. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, Scorpio, you, you, you. You want to play it back, though, but I don't think you will. I feel like you thought about it. Because I, cause I feel like, you know, the whole thing about this whole thing was money. Y'all weren't cheating on each other. I don't feel like y'all were, like, not trying to involve into, you know, a different, a higher level of commitment or anything. I feel like everything kind of was on course, except for that. If this person had the same bag you had, Scorpio, they wouldn't, you know, feel some type of way. But I feel like this card, this this what this, this energy right here is saying. This, this is exactly what it's embodying to me. I'm not a difficult woman. I'm a strong woman who knows my value. That's giving me the energy like, you know, it's not that I'm, you know, giving giving you all my money like you using me. Like, I know when to stop. This is something I'm doing for you out of my heart. I do this for anybody. It's that type of energy with you. But with this person, it kind of makes them feel devalued. It kind of makes them feel, that's why I'm getting divine masculine energy. Like, this, this, this is a man feeling less than because... You had more than them, and you were willing to help them. That's just, I don't know. That's what it feels like. Let's see. Oh, do I want to get in here? No, let's just clarify with the tarot, Scorpio. But, yeah, this is somebody, this is somebody from your past, Scorpio. They're showing back up now saying, hey, Scorpio, look at me. I got money now, you know. I've been single. I'm not messing with anybody. Are you single? What What's going on? Like, they want to immediately, like, pick up where y'all left off. <laughs> like, after they ghosted you. They feel like one conversation, Scorpio, and you'll be okay with what, like, you'll be like, oh, okay. Because for some reason, the fact that this person ghosted you, this could be a Virgo you were dealing with. I'm getting Virgo. I'm also getting, um... Aries and Cancer here. 
I kind of, let's see. Why is Payback Your Love is like a song track here for Scorpio? Why is that here for Scorpio? It bothered this person that you had money and stability and they did not. It almost feels like this person didn't have a place to stay. Not not like they were homeless or anything like that, but like I, I kind of want to say pillar the post, but not so much like maybe they had a cousin or you know, like a dude cousin that was a bachelor that letting them like crash on the couch or or maybe this isn't the type of person that have like roommates or you know, I don't know why I'm I'm being led to say that, but it just feels like that. It feels like every time you and this person like were together, y'all were at your house. Okay? So on that playback, the first energy that comes out is the nine of pentacles here. Yeah, it's like this person they in the beginning, they really respected how self-reliant you are and how, you know, kick-ass you are, Scorpio. Beautiful, got your own money, got your own shit going on, you know, material security, but you ain't sweating a nigga about no shit. You definitely not no fucking gold digger, but a bitch. Got to kind of match your energy or match your vibe of what's going on. So this person, they admired you for that, but, they, but in the middle of the playback, it's like they started envying you because of it. So what kind of shit is that? It's like, first you love the fact that I was, you know, beautiful, independent, single, on my own, going through life and, you know, making shit happen in a boss bitch. And now it's like it's becoming a problem. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, this person came in, Prince Charming. I feel like it was subtle, though. It was the little things that they done. I feel like, Scorpio, with you, it was... It was not the fact, it was, I feel like you didn't have a problem with this person because this person made up for what they lacked in money. You know, this isn't one of those instances where somebody got a million motherfucking dollars and they won't give you shit or you don't have access to it. It's the type of energy that if this person had the world, they'd give it to you, but they don't and they feel some type of way because really... After they get to know you, they kind of wondering, like, what the fuck do you need a dude for anyway? Or what the fuck you need in, need me for? That, like, that's the energy. With the Knight of Cups, you have the justice in reverse. This person feel like they couldn't be a husband to you or, like, they couldn't go to a, 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 a higher level of commitment with you because you already, like, you're already too ahead of the game. But this person is a hopeless romantic. I feel like when you were dealing with this person, like... This person may be a good chef or cook or like they, you know, they articulate some things like rose petals, giving you flowers, little sweet notes. Like this person is just like the um, pioneer of nothingness. Like, and when I say that, I mean like it don't take money to make somebody feel loved, right? This person embodies that. Yeah, the four wands. Like, I just feel like the money would have come. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's how you felt. Like you didn't have to just ghost me and give up like that. You could have just explain to me what's going on and we could have you know still went ahead with the romance we could have still had this stability and happy family because i don't know i just feel like this person just they ghost you but now they want a reunion scorpio now they want a uh, um a reprieve they're stable now they're the four of wands now this person hasn't been dating other people. This person just been solo dolo, like keeping 10 toes down, working hard, trying to get themselves together, trying to, I, I feel like too, this person really, really strategized. Whatever time y'all been apart, Scorpio, it's got to do with how much money this person was making. Why do I say that? Because this person, they're, they're, they're in the mindset of either one of three things, ways are going to happen. Either I'm going to, you know, build something that, accumulates money or I'm going to have to work two jobs and save my shit for it to say something. You understand what I'm saying? So when this person comes back, whether they saved for five years, I'm hearing of saved for three years, step, step on that cousin's couch for those two, three, and now boom, here they, but them three years, this person, that's all they did. That's all they done. Focus on saving money, focusing on making an offer, being able to give you a tangible offer. Because they know, they know that you're not a difficult woman, Scorpio. They know that you're strong. They love that about you. And they know you love you know your value. They love that about you. This is Empress energy, boo. And this is an emperor in training. 
in trainer, but however long it took this person to get back their bag. <laughs> Clarify I'm not a difficult woman. I'm a strong woman who knows my value. You got the queen of swords. Yeah. You speak your own truth, Scorpio. It's like you are walking embodiment of just like the ace of swords. Like what you want to know? I can't I can't make no I can't make this shit up. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Now if it's something you you being nosy and you don't need no me to just plead the feel and tell you like that's that's not your business. But if it's something I want to answer, we're in a connection, I'm gonna answer you truthfully, whether you like it or not. And see, the Queen of Swords too talks about independence, right? This person loved all these things about you. How protective you were over them. How you helped them. How open-minded you were to them. This person could be an artist too or a musician. I'm hearing like this person, they're in a at a point of stalemate in their career. It's something they do that's, you know, artistic. That it's just not like a punch in nine to five. Okay. But they, they, this person, they worked two jobs and did this other shit, they dreams on the side. I don't know if their dreams finally came true or if this person just saved up enough money to come towards you and still be able to pursue their dreams now, right? But they love, they love, love, love everything about you, Scorpio. You got a six of pentacles. I can't make this shit up. This person coming back because now they want you to see, look, I am an emperor. I am your match. It wasn't by chance that we met up. Yes, I ghosted you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for that. But I haven't been with any... It's like this person... It's like they know to tell you I haven't been with any fucking body. Like, yeah, look. I can't make it up the fool. Like, this person stepping out on faith. They like... This person really, for real, Scorpio, they haven't slept. They haven't even had an interest in nobody else since they left you. Since they ghosted you. This person actually been getting their shit together. Like for real, they 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 they're artistic endeavors. They're doing that shit now. They're able to do it without starving. That's what I'm hearing. They're able to do it and still maintain a connection with you and still have money to do what they need to do, and not be able to you know they they'll be able to provide for you. You won't be opening your pocketbook every time y'all go out. All right, that's just what I'm getting. <laughs> the gold digger, click my gold digger here. Y'all a perfect match. That's just that on that. Yeah, the, ooh, the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, y'all are the perfect match. Now, Emperor and Empress. Shit. Oh, man, this is total bliss, right? This is just like a peaceful life, peaceful wife. Like, come on. Blessings and harmony. Somebody you, you love. Somebody you just can't wait to hear that key j dang, um, jingling in the door. You hear their footsteps, you just begin to smile and close your eyes like you know they coming up behind you and kissing on your cheek or something. It's that type of energy for me. And the death card. Pop goes the motherfucking weasel. Scorpio, you gonna always show up when you are being loved, when you are being, you know, treated fairly. Like that's in any connection, Scorpio involved in a job, whatever. You taking care of me, I'm coming to do my fucking job. If you're in a committed relationship and somebody making you feel loved, you're going to look loved, you're going to feel loved, and that's what you're going to give out into the universe, love. That, that, that on that. Who the fuck am I talking to? This shit was life-changing. That's why the death card showed up. Not only did you change my life, but, but we changed each other's lives. The trajectory of each other's lives. You, you, your impartation on this person made them go get their shit together. Your impartation with this person made this person not want to sleep with other women to get back to you and all that, the kilter, the, the storm, or the temple, or the whatever the fuck. This person saved all that and came back. Shit. They ready? Yeah, the hangman. This person got a different perspective on everything. This person, you know, the hangman can talk about self-improvement too. And that's what they done. I feel like this person just went somewhere and got their shit together. Because they knew that y'all were connected. They knew that y'all, that, you know, we supposed to be together. It's just the money thing. And the money thing didn't come from you, Scorpio. It come from him being a divine masculine. Shit, that's the kind of... I just, you know, other than the fact that this person ghosted you. 
I just like the fact that this person actually went and did what they said they was going to do without fucking off and, you know, the other bullshit. This person was spiritually enlightened because they had to be, Scorpio, to deal with you. We are the perfect couple. We're just not in the perfect situation. Amen, brother. <laughs> and that's how you feel. That's how you feel. You should have just... I feel like this... But I feel like if this person would have been honest, Scorpio, you'd have talked them out of it. Yeah, I really do. Because I feel like you you like this person. You really, you know, them ghosts in you made you, I mean, you really went through some shit. Like, for real. Yeah, the seven of swords in the reverse. Like, they, they the ghost didn't hurt you, Scorpio, but it was not intentional. With the seven of swords in reverse, I feel like this person, what they did, the move they made, it wasn't to hurt you. In their mind, all they can see is, is getting to a point where they're, they're able to deal with you. And treat you like an empress and love on you. Not with just not with just the little small nothings, but with some big somethings. That's just what I'm hearing. Yes, thank you, Source. The Ten of Pentacles. This person, this person would rather be separated from you, Scorpio, than breadcrumb you or make you feel like you're being breadcrumb. This person knew off the rip you was an empress. And the good thing about this person was they were totally free. It's just that they, they were not financially abundant. And it, it made them feel some type of way. And I feel like it's a good thing that a man feels a certain type of way about that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if if you a man that don't feel some type of way about that, you are a fucking gold digger. Whether I'm giving it to you to try to support you and help you get on your feet or not. You know, that just goes without saying it. Then look, the sun. This person coming back with the ten of pentacles. They coming back with a bag. And they coming back with their heart. Wholeheartedly. This person realized what they what they gave up, Scorpio, in ghosting you. But they have they have that that faith that whatever it is that connected you guys in the first place are gonna bring y'all back together again anyway. And Scorpio, I kind of get the energy that you've gone on with your life. So I don't know how this is gonna, you know, work out as far as what you got going on right now. But I feel like this person just stayed clear. I keep hearing three years. Clarify, I don't care. A lot of cards. So the tarot card, your whole <laughs> the tarot card on, on I don't care just means to me like you change your whole fucking mind when you when you begin to talk to this person and start seeing this person again. You realize this this some for real shit. They ain't got no baby mamas coming out the woodwork. They ain't got no um checks that's bouncing out in the world like this. This person for real legit. This person got a house. You got a house, they got a house, this person got a vehicle now, you got, like, this person really done stepped their game up. The Nine of Wands, <laughs> the Tower and the Nine of Wands was enough to make this person step their game up. It was a lot too, Scorpio. They had to ghost you, they couldn't face you like this anymore. It was, it was really draining the life out of them, where you thought you were making them better, or you thought you were helping them, by assisting them, by, you know, because... The not the ones could talk about somebody being wounded. So I, 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 you know, Scorpio, what I say about that and us with wounded folks, like we just we're an open hospital. We used to be, but I just feel like with this not the ones, this person just really realized really quick that you were an Empress Scorpio, and they just had to like. I don't feel like they thought it would take this long, though. Be honest with you, I, I really don't. I don't know what they plan was, and I feel like they don't either. But they just knew they had to start now. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. It, it was just slow moving with his money. So this maybe this person just like kind of worked two jobs and did their side creative shit and just like slowly, you know, this money came to him. But I feel like they were very persistent when it came to it. Like they had setbacks and, you know, I feel like I feel the energy of this person being very fatigued and tired, like Ten of Wands energy because they, they, they didn't stop until they got back to you, Scorpio. I promise you that. They've been keeping close. Watch on your social medias. Anywhere that they can actually know that you okay, um, they're actually checking those sites. They're not they're not they're not talking to you in any kind of way because they don't feel like, you know, a text would do it. They want this has to be face to face. You got the five of cups coming out in the reverse. And you got the um King of Pentacles coming out in reverse. 
So with the Five of Cups and the King of Pentacles coming out in reverse, um, Scorpio, as the advice, like I said, I feel like this person, it, it just didn't sit well with them that they couldn't match your energy. But at the same time, yep, I was just finna say at the same time with the lovers on the bottom of the deck, this person knew you, you, you're their person. They just knew that they had to do, you know, they had to correct some things and get some shit together before they could, they couldn't just, they couldn't embody the emperor energy if they were not an emperor. They know that, they understand that this person is very spiritually enlightened too. But I love the sun being here because it's like, either you or this person have an epiphany, epiphany and y'all, y'all go towards this connection here with the lovers being here. I, I, I love this, it's soulmate energy. I love it. All right, let's see. Hmm. I was going to get a romance, Angie, but we'll pull from this oracle here. Let's see. This is actually beautiful, Scorpio. I love it. This is a strong bond to you and this person. After this separation that y'all just had, y'all never, ever, ever want to be apart. You you guys could even figure out, like, ways to make money together. Okay, I just feel like y'all's unity is very important to y'all. Like, if y'all can spend time together, y'all going to do it. And I feel like y'all kindred spirits. I feel like both of y'all feel that way. Like, y'all could, like I said, this is an artist. So this person is going to have free expression. I feel like you're the same way, Scorpio. Like, whatever it is y'all do for a living, it allows y'all to spend a lot of time together. Okay. It says, I'm triggered. The old pattern has surfaced and it hurts. You know, like I said, this person this person went through a lot of struggle, Scorpio, with being away from you. Okay, but, you know, they just kept going. Like I said, they, they fell short sometimes, but they kept going. And it says, I'm feeling controlled by people around me, and I don't like it. It's pushing me to find my power again. Yes, that's what you did, Scorpio. The number 10, you push this person to find their strength, to find their success, to find all the things that you found in your life. This person know they were connected to you, and they know it was purposeful. It, it, this wasn't... This person kind of innately knew, Scorpio, that whenever they made it back to you would be perfect timing, okay? Fate is what I'm getting. All right, what else here? I feel like to you, though, it felt long as fuck. It says, I'm struggling with codependency. I'm afraid to let go of my old coping mechanisms. Yeah, I feel like, Scorpio, you know, that's anybody. When you go through these life reviews, you know, the things that you have to do to get your shit together, you know, it, it really, what it does, it, it really, a life review reminds you of all the codependency, right? It reminds you of all the things you went through, all the things that you're afraid of, right? Afraid to let go because it's been your, like, security blanket. Well, that's the same thing, like, with you, with this person meeting you, Scorpio, it's like, you their security blanket now. They can't, they can't one have a connection with you right leave the connection and just be the same person again because a part of them is missing now why they left a part of them with you they left their soul with you while they're off doing this work why because they don't want nobody else to feel that position so that's that's the energy i'm getting from this person like even though they left for three years i keep getting three years even though they left for this certain amount of time, it's like they left something, they deposited something in you that's going to allow their interest back <laughs> in, period. It says, I feel like I don't deserve your love. I'm worried you'll leave me when you see who I really am. See, I knew it was that. This person just didn't feel whole. They didn't feel like a, a, a man or a woman being here and not being able to contribute. They felt like they didn't deserve your love at that time. That's why they went to, you know, they went to make themselves worthy, Scorpio, if that makes sense. And it's, it, it's not on you, it's them. It's how they feel. All right. It says, I know this is more than a relationship and that there is a higher purpose to our connection. I can't make it up. 
Whatever this person deposited in you, Scorpio, they knew that they would be able to gain entry again. This, Both of these are the number twos here. They knew they, they would be able to gain entry, okay? And then you have union is an energy, not a physical construct. Even when you aren't together, I feel... Even when we aren't together, I feel our union. I told you, I wish the... Man, y'all better tip the channel. I just said that. I just said that damn near verbatim what this card is saying. The union is an energy. See, this person in their mind, Scorpio, them being away from you physically, getting their shit together, didn't change nothing about the union. It's, it's as if they still there with you because of whatever this is they deposited. They left that energy with you. They knew they was coming back. This person, from the moment they stepped away from this connection, which you call it ghosting, this person went on to get their shit together. Now they back. The overall energy says, my heart is opening to love and guiding me back to you. Will I be down? The person done the work and now they back. They headed back or they back. <laughs> the lover's card. This your person. This your soulmate. This who you've been asking for. It's not going to be easy. This is just one phase of what this person did. But what I love about what this person did is they're letting you know they're willing to do the work. All right, Scorpio. If you're still with me, hit that like. Subscribe. Join. Super thanks if the, if the message resonates. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.